welcome to Vet Talks with Dog Athena. In this series, we will review dog breeds. This video is a guide for pet owners, students of veterinary medicine, and basically to anyone who is interested. In this video, we will focus on herding group. According to American Kennel Club or AKC.org, there are 31 recognized breeds under this group. These are Australian Cattle Dog, Australian Shepherd, Bearded Collie, Buseron, Belgian Lacanois, Belgian Malinois, Belgian Sheepdog, Belgian Treviran, Bergamasco, Bridger Picard, Border Collie, Bouvier de Flandre, Briard, Cana and Dog, Cardigan Welsh Corgi, Collie, Antalbusha Mountain Dog, Finnish Lapphund, German Shepherd Dog, Icelandic Sheepdog, Miniature American Shepherd, Norwegian Buhund, Old English Sheepdog, Pembroke Welsh Corgi, Polish Lowland Sheepdog, Puli, Pumi, Pyrenean Shepherd, Shetland Sheepdog, Spanish Water Dog, and Swedish Volhund. There are 31 breeds that were mentioned, however, for this video and vet review, we will only focus on 15 breeds. Please ready your paper, pen or pencil or maybe a whiteboard and a marker. Number it from 1 to 15 and we will start in a short while. Identify the breed number 1. This is also known as Australian Healer, Blue Healer, Queensland Healer or Horse Healer. The dogs were bred to herd cattle by nipping at their heels. They are related to Australia's famous wild dog, the Dingo. They are born with white coat that turns blue-gray or red, varies with distinctive mottling or speckling patterns. They are known to be smart, loyal, alert and wary of strangers making them excellent running partners. They are also called Velcro dogs because they love to be in close physical contact with their chosen person all the time. They excel at hunting, chasing, and of course, moving livestock. Keep them busy with challenges because they easily become bored and get into mischief. They have a strong tendency to bite even in play. So they must be properly directed with socialization and training when they are still puppies. Number 2. They originated from France, also known as Berger de Buse or Bar Rouge, meaning red stockings because of the red accent on the lower portion of the leg. They were developed in the 1500s as a hunter of wild boar. It also became useful as a herding dog and guardian of the flock. This large breed is muscular, rugged, and full of energy. They are about 25 to 28 inches tall and weigh about 30 to 38 kilograms. The dog is most distinguished by their long tail and double jew claws. They require minimum grooming because of the short hair coat and weekly brushing is usually enough. They are imposing and powerful, but also remarkably smart, spirited, versatile herder, and naturally protective of their people and property, making them excellent watchdog and guard dogs. Since they are dominant, they are not for novice owners, who might end up being owned by their dominant dog instead of the other way around. Therefore, they require a firm hand in training. Being territorial, children and other pets should be introduced early in their socialization training. They enjoy challenging activities and need a regular outlet for their energy. Hence, they prefer the outdoors and are best suited for a farm. Though they can adopt an indoor, daily walks are a must or at least freedom to run in a large yard. Since they love doing a job, the breed is often used in police work for protection and as a rescuer. Number 3. Developed in Malines, Belgium. Originally as herding dog, but now are also known as military dogs, protection dogs, and loving family members. These medium-sized dogs are built for action. 
Physically, they are often confused with the German Shepherd dog, but this breed is fawn-colored, red or brown, and the tip of their hair are black, while the GSD is usually tan with black saddle. Because of their energy level and sensitivity, they are recommended only for people who have previously owned dogs and have experience with dog training. Not for people who work long hours or must travel often, leaving their dogs at home. Make sure to have the room and time to deal with their high energy and exercise needs. Their temperament is affected by a number of factors, including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppy kindergarten classes are recommended, followed by obedience training class, because poorly socialized dogs may be aggressive out of fear or shyness. They love to play. Trainers describe them as having a high play drive. They are constant shedders as they shed heavily twice a year. They are prone to hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy, and anesthesia sensitivity. They prefer cool climates but adapt well to warmer environments. Number 4. Their ancestors have been around since humans in what is now Britain first began using dogs to help guard and herd sheep. In the border between Scotland and England, the herding dog became one of the most valuable assets a shepherd could have, and that best working dogs were bred with each other. This breed doesn't want to be cuddled. He wants and needs a job. He was bred to run and work all day herding sheep. This dog is workaholic who thrives on mental and physical stimulation, hence must have a positive way to direct his energy. Otherwise, he'll invent his own games, and he can become a problem to live with. They love to roam and can become an escape artist. They also have an overwhelming urge to gather a flock. That flock could be sheep, children, cats, squirrels, or anything that moves, including cars. This instinct to nip, nudge, and bark, along with his energy, cannot be trained out of him. Rather, it must be directed. This breed is prone to hip dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy, epilepsy, coli anomaly, allergies, and osteochondritis desiccans, or OCD. Number 5. This is the national dog of Israel, known as Kalef Kanani, which is a Hebrew word. This primitive breed of Middle Eastern herding dogs are highly reactive and have excellent survival trait that allowed them to live in harsh desert conditions. They are also agile dog with pleasing form and graceful movement. They are active, but their energy level isn't excessive. It's important to provide them with strong and firm leadership. The breed is an excellent and vocal watchdog, so be prepared for some barking. <coughs> Number 6. This dog breed is from the northernmost region of Finland called Lapland. They are known to herd reindeer for the semi-nomadic Sami people. Their long profuse coat comes in different colors including white, black, red, and brown, as well as combinations of colors such as black and tan. They are good with children and friendly towards people. Number 7. They are also known as Alsatian in Great Britain and parts of Europe. They must be kept busy and never left alone to prevent suffering from separation anxiety or sepox or extreme anxiety which are expressed in barking and chewing. Daily physical and mental exercise is a must to burn off energy because they were built for action, originally to herd flock all day. They are also called German Shedder, 
hence they need brushing several times a week. Excellent watchdog but should never be chained or tethered. They are usually reserved with aloof personality but not usually aggressive. They don't make friends easily but they are loyal. They are prone to hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, gastric dilatation and volvulus or GDV, degenerative myelopathy, exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, and allergies. Considering their powerful jaws, give them safe chew toys to prevent boredom and accidents, such as swallowing things that could cause choke or could make them sick. Number 8. This breed is also known as Icelandic Spitz or Icelandic Dog. It is said to be companions to the ancient Vikings to protect flocks of lamb from birds of prey. Therefore, they have a habit of looking at the sky and barking at birds. Being very affectionate with their humans, confident and playful, they are not ideal guard dogs. They do well in colder climates, need plenty of exercise, open space, and consistent training. They are medium-sized dogs with thick, waterproof double coat that could be in shades of tan, ranging from cream to reddish, brown, chocolate brown, gray, and black, all with white markings and sometimes with a black mask. The tail is very bushy. This breed needs weekly brushing. Number 9. This intelligent, independent, and highly trainable dog originated from Norway where they were responsible for herding livestock and guarding the farm. They have strong desire to please. They are also called as tireless dogs, needing lots of exercise, playtime, and attention. They are medium-sized dogs with wooden coat color, pale cream to bright orange, with or without dark-tipped hairs, and as little white as possible, or black with as little white as possible. The coat on the head and front of the legs is shorter than on the rest of the body. They need brushing several times a week. <coughs> Number 10, also known as Pembrokes, PWCs, or PEMS. This breed has an enchanting background from Pembrokeshire Wales. Legend said that this dog is sprang from the lairs of fairies and elves. They are the smallest member of the herding group, weighing about 30 pounds and about 10 to 12 inches tall, with markings called fairy saddle over their back. They are active, intelligent, and small herder of cattle, sheep, and horses, hence the strong herding instinct. They are also easy to train and great with children and other pets. They can fit into any household but needs plenty of walks and playtime. The short-legged pups are excellent for novice pet parents. This breed come in two varieties, the Pembroke and the Cardigan. The difference? Size, bone, and tail. Cardigan is slightly larger and heavier boned than the Pembroke. Also, the Pembroke has a broke tail. The cardigan has a long tail like the sleeves of a cardigan sweater. This vocal breed can have different coat color. Could be red, sable, fawn, or tricolored with red, black, and tan, usually with white markings on the legs, chest, neck, muzzle, and belly. They also may have a narrow blaze on their heads. Pembroke heads are shaped much like the head of a fox. Their eyes are oval-shaped and dark, and their ears are erect. They should be monitored when eating because they have high tendency of overeating and become obese. They are prone to hip dysplasia, cataracts, cutaneous asthenia, cystinuria, degenerative myelopathy, 
epilepsy, IVDD, PDA with pulmonary hypertension, PRA, retinal dysplasia, and von Willebrand's disease. Number 11, also known as PON or P-O-N. The name is direct translation of its Polish name, Polski Obcharik Nishini. They are confident, lively, and clever breed originally a herding and guarding dog from Poland. This long-haired, medium-sized dog is highly protective of their flock, but they are obedient, fearless, and good-natured with people, with uncanny memory. They are also good with children and other pets around. Aside from their need of plenty of exercise, their multicolored shaggy coat also need ample amount of grooming sessions to keep it tangle-free. Having a loyal personality and strong herding instinct, they are both good as companion dogs for apartment dwellers as well as farm dogs in rural areas. They are happy dogs who know what they want and how to get it. Though they look cute and cuddly, as a working dog, they tend to have a strong personality even at young age. So keep them busy and don't live alone for a long period of time. They may be loyal and good with their families, but aloof and suspicious towards strangers. They are prone to hip dysplasia and RPA. <coughs> Number 12. This is an ancient breed originated from Hungary, hence also known as Hungarian Puli and the Hungarian Water Dog for herding sheep. Sometimes they say, he's not a dog, he's a Puli. The plural form is Pulik. They are best known for its distinct coat that resembles like dreadlocks. Being fun-loving and affectionate, they are excellent babysitters, companion of elderly, and therapy dog. They are predisposed to hip dysplasia, PRA, and cataract. <coughs> Number 13, also known as Sheltie. This is a small active herding dog from Shetland Island, Scotland, having a strong resemblance from its bigger cousin, the Collie breed. Because of their herding skills, they are known to be Scottish farmers' best friend. They need to be mentally and physically stimulated with tasks. Look at that hair! They shed profusely, so make sure proper grooming is done. They are one of the popular family dogs. But because of their overwhelming energy, they should be able to run. <coughs> Number 14. This is a European breed from Iberian Peninsula and a medium-sized herding dog with very active lifestyle. Their coat could be a combination of beige, black, white, and brown. Number 15. They are working farm dog known in their homeland as the Vast Gotaspets prone to retinopathy. This medium-sized athletic dog is a barker. They may have a strong resemblance to the Cardigan and Pembroke Welsh Corgis, but not genetically related. They have wedge-shaped head with medium-sized ears that stand erect. <coughs> Now let's check if you got the correct answers. Number 1. Australian Cattle Dog Number 2. Buseron Number 3. Belgian Malinois Number 4. Border Collie Number 5. Cane and Dog Number 6. Finnish Lapphund Number 7. German Shepherd Dog Number 8. Icelandic Sheepdog Number 9, Norwegian Buhund. Number 10, Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Number 11, Polish Lowland Sheepdog. Number 12, Puli. 
Number 13, Shetland Sheepdog. Number 14, Spanish Water Dog. Number 15, Swedish Valhund. Did you get the correct answers? If yes, please comment below. If no, better luck next time. Thank you so much for attending our vet review for today. Thank you for being with me here at Vet Talks with Doc Athena. I hope you learned something from this simple lecture. And if you did, please hit the like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You can reach me at Doc Athena Facebook page. Again, thank you. And I hope to see you again soon. God bless us all. Bye.